With winter quickly approaching and supply chain issues affecting the nation, two New York State senators came together today to discuss the need for snowplow computer chips. Our Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Brill has more. New York State Senators Joseph Griffo and Peter Oberacker announced today that they have sent a letter to the federal government urging them to prioritize the delivery of computer chips for snow plows. U.S. DOT ensure that this, there's ample supply, particularly for those snow covered areas across our nation. In a letter to the U.S. Department of Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, the senators explained that computer chips used for snow plows will be in short supply, which could impact the department's ability to clear roads this winter and impact public safety. They actually register or read the depth, the uh, level of fluid that are in these diesel trucks. And if it doesn't either read it or it doesn't uh, heat it up, the truck won't move. The town of New Hartford Highway Superintendent Richard Sherman explains that he started preparing back in the spring to ensure that they have the supplies that they need. However, he has been experiencing some delays. And it's replacing a truck that's 17, 18 years old, and it's not going to be here until next June. So again, it's because of, of pieces like chips and other, other things that the manufacturers can't get their hands on to uh, build these trucks and, and get them to uh, the municipalities and the DPWs, the state DOTs. Senator Oberacker says that they have come up with a plan for these delays. We've asked them to come up with a computer override, a, a, an actual program that will override the chip if you cannot have a chip there. Senator Griffo says that action needs to be taken in order to ensure highway workers are able to keep roads safe this winter. The answer is to take control and responsibility <laughs> and to address these uh, challenges and hopefully we find solutions so that things can work despite the fact that we're in a pandemic. Reporting in New Hartford, Lauren Brill, Eyewitness News.